Hi guys, good morning. Tell everybody good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so hi everybody. So my son gave his first good morning laugh with his new hearing. So today I want to talk about cochlear. And I want to tell you everything that mama needs to know. So y'all need to know. So the next time you see somebody with an implant, you'll understand the journey and how hard it is and how long it will be. But you know what? The greatest thing is that what? He hears and he understands. Okay? Good morning. You understand. <laughs> So this alone brings such joy to a mother's heart, you know, a mother's heart, our mind, our soul, our body, everything. So today I want to talk about cochlear implants. I'm going to tell you about the device. I'm going to show you how it works, everything. So first thing is first, today is day three of his surgery. Oh, not surgery, but since the device has been had it. So, so he's three weeks out of surgery and he's three days shy from hearing so you see oh god is good so we are moving pretty quickly right my my food works so i want to tell you about everything that is happening and all my lecture series about the device you guys stay tuned you'll love it all right so this is what the cochlea looks like um you can see an orange blinking light which means that the battery is dead so what they did was to put a you know a temporary battery for the first day of its installment then I'm going to put the permanent batteries so the orange light means that the temporary battery that they installed is dead and right here has the magnet that attaches to the magnet inside of the head and that sends signal to the brain right here is a processor it's like this is like you know the computer you have the processor that processes everything so this is it right here so it tells you when the battery is dead it tells you when the battery is changing it tells you everything. So right now it's saying that the battery is dead. Once the light is green and blinking, it simply means that the battery is good. Okay. So I'm about to do a battery change. I don't know if he's going to stay steady for me to do the battery change. Right, so I'm going to change the battery for his device. So this is it right here. So I'm going to take the battery. This is a temporary battery that is out now. And they said it only lasts for 17 hours. So these last for an entire day. So as you can see, it's one battery to the left, one battery to the right. I'm going to change the temporary one and put this, the permanent one. So these are the permanent ones. You charge at night and they last for 17 hours a day. This is a USB that you can put the batteries in and you can charge it. So at least, you know, it never dies, technically. And you always charge two batteries. So when, when you put one on, there's always a full battery. So in case one dies, you always have the backup. Right. So I'm going to try to do a change. I don't know. I've never done the change before, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to put on the permanent battery now. Let's see if he's going to be nice to let mommy do this work. So I'm going to remove it. It doesn't pain. It doesn't hurt. So you take it off. And you take it off. So this is what it looks like when it's off right so i'm going to take the, the, the this battery off and discard it because this doesn't need this doesn't work ever again because this is just the temporary one for testing to see the device is working so this goes into the bin so this is it and this is discarded this has no more use so now we're going to put on the smaller battery which is the original battery as you can see, this one is a little smaller. The original is smaller than the, the, the temporary one. You can see? Look. Yeah, so this one goes into the bin. The bin is right here, no more use. So what I'm gonna do now is put this one back on. Hold on, boy. So see it, you turn it slantish, 
then you close it. So now the, the new, the original battery is now installed. So I'm going to put it back on its ears and then you'll see the green light. So the green light means it's working. If the light becomes orange, it simply means the processor is not working or the battery is not working or the card is not working. So now you can see, and this shows that maybe everything is working now, but you won't know until they put it on. So you see an orange light blinking? Don't know if you can see the orange light. The orange light blinking shows that the device is not attached to him. It's in my hand, it's not attached. Once this device is attached to him, it should show the green. If it's attached to him and you see any other flashing color, something is wrong with the processor or the magnetic card. Okay, look, I'm going to install. Okay, hold on. Hey, that mommy's going to put this on for you, okay? It's okay, baby. Let mommy put it on. It's, it's okay, boy. It's okay. She's just hanging it back on. It's okay. Right. So you put it back on. Then you attach this magnet to the magnet that was installed in his brain. <laughs> you see the green light now? So now he's hearing. The next step now, today is day three, and they say day three, you should turn up the device. <laughs> yes, boy, boy. Mommy's going to turn up the device. So right here, you see everything that he needs to work. So these are a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Right, so this tells you everything about cochlear implants. So I'll go through them in a little while, but I need to turn up the device. So just give me a second, I'm going to show you how it's turned up. I'm looking for the remote. There's a remote here that you use to turn up the device. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> right. So if he does this well, and the device is at level one, and he has to go to level eight. Level eight is the original earring. Can you imagine this boy going to be a super talking parrot? Right. So now I'm about to turn up the device. So you saw me install the batteries and everything. You see the color changed to green. It's okay, baby. So now I'm going to turn up the device. So day three, three days later, I should turn up every three days to four days the device should be turned up so he should get to stage it's okay he should get to stage four by the time we get back on the 30th which is another two weeks so this is a remote control that i'll use to get him to stage eight stage eight is when he'll hear just like me and you so because you don't want to bombard the brain what you do is do it in mini stages so when we left the hospital he was at stage one it's now day three since he got the cochlear totally implanted or installed. So now the remote control is what I'll use to turn it to stage two. So if you look at it, you see one. You see one, volume six. So he's at volume six and he's at stage one. I'm going to turn it up now to stage two. So now he's at stage two. Two, where the volume in the cochlea is a little louder. Uh oh. That's okay, baby. It's okay. Right. So now he's at stage two. So this is where he'll stay until another three days. If he tolerates it, like if he's not fussy or miserable or anything, then we have to turn it down until his brain is ready. So now that I just put it to stage two, that means the volume in the cochlea is a little louder, so he'll hear me a little louder. And then you have stage three, stage four. St then we go back into the hospital on the 30th, then they'll go to give us another programming. So that's when we'll go to stage five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. So for now, right, so he's now at stage two, so he's tolerating it well as you can see he's pretty fine he's not being fussy he's not being miserable where i need to put it back to one right so this is the final touch of what mommy's journey is like so as you can see i'm going to show you everything that comes with one ear don't ask me about the second ear because i'm not really prepared 
Right, so right here is his Namsak. I have to take this bag everywhere with me. And I did mention the little card that I have to take with everything to tell the doc, tell everybody immigration, MRI team, every type of scan in the world, he needs to, I need to show them this paper to sh let them know that he's not authorized to do anything because of the magnet in his brain. And you know, metal sticks to magnet, that means the magnet can shift and that's more problems. Then you have this right here. So this is the remote control right here. This is the other cochlear, the outside part. If the other one is lost, I can replace it. If this gets lost, the second one gets lost, then hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. And you know, these are the little mini parts and whatever. So this remote now, I, as you see, I just turned up the device. So this takes him to, stay, to level 8. So you do level 4, then we go in for the first checkup. If he tolerates the load of the sounds and he doesn't get fussy or anything, then we can move on to level 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's another 4 stage. And level 8 is the final stage where as if you whisper and he's a mile away, he can pick that up. So, so, so far with the little stage one and stage two, he's responding. So can you imagine when he gets to level eight? So this is the remote that works that. Right, so that's one, one of the case. Ugh, you so much work, mommy have? Mandeville Regional Hospital, Dr. Tate Thompson, Dr. Thompson, I mean, I remember your name, Mel Thompson, Dr. Kildare, me sure uno. And that is just one ear. This is another device that comes with it and this you know is like pieces of equipment i think this is where um if he goes into water you have the, the section that covers the ear to prevent water from going in waterproof paperwork yeah right because he has to go into water so if we can protect it while he's in the water because if he's in the water and there's a shark you must can say aiden harvin there's a shark swim but if, he, if you take it completely half and it's completely deaf, he's not going to respond. So we had to get it waterproof. Then this is a mini mic. So if I want to talk to him, well, all right, once he goes to school, the teacher will get this. So you clip it. Yes, it's a mini mic. You clip it here. And anywhere he is, I can say Aiden Irving and he hears me perfectly with even 2,000 voices, 100,000 voices. This, he can hear me clearly with the over the 200,000 voices. So for example, we're at the mall. I speak in this and wherever he is, he'll hear me perfectly. You see, you see them are things that we can't afford them or something, you know? So, yes. So I'll leave one for his teacher and I'll take one for myself. I think there's two there, one for myself in case I need it. And one for his teacher. And then now you have this big old box. So this is like spare charger. Spare another battery because he needs three batteries per year. One of the batteries over 200 US dollars. So he needs three batteries per year. So one battery lasts three months, three months, three months. So three keeps him for the year. Or four months, four months, four months, four months. So this is the third battery. So when those two are finished, we put the final one. The next year, we order another three. Right. So that's a good thing. It's not like the irony that every week you have to change batteries. This now keeps him for a year. So every year we get three batteries for the year. So that's $600. For two years, that's $1,200 per year for those batteries alone. Device, nothing else to include it if anything get lost or whatever. So listen to me. I We don't have that money, so I just have to do the best I can with whatever we have right here. Yes, so that's pretty much everything that's in this. The charger. This is the charger, as I've shown before. And this is where you have two batteries. I just installed the one I showed you. So this is the second piece. You always have to have one fully charged along with the one that's on. It lasts for the entire day, but at night you put them to charge. When that, once that battery runs out, then you have this one always fully charged to just reattach, pick up back on the earring. This is um, a USB. I think you can charge a battery from here. And so instead of walking around with this big thing, you can just move with this. 
it doesn't matter where in the world I go, I have to take everything that's right here. All right, so this now, if the hair needs, like if it gets sweaty or wet or anything, you can put it in this and it sucks the water from the, 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 from the device. So especially like the processor and stuff, it sucks the water from the processor and all that. So this now, this is the final section of the tablet. And as you can see, it's a mini computer, a cochlear computer. I asked her if this little tablet here, if I can use YouTube on it. And, you know, she laughed, of course, you know. Mama, mama needs those. And I don't mind YouTube on it, you know, save me the trip, you know. But there's no YouTube on it, guys. No Facebook, no nothing. So I can ask it any questions. I can touch on it. Look, whatever language, it's there. Then you can touch on it. And it tells you everything about your cochlear. Any questions you want to ask, everything is already built in. If you want to know how to fix it, how to work it, when the battery stop working, everything, it's right here. You just ask it the question and it answers it. So once you close it, it goes. Right, so that's my son's life. And this is what I have to do all the time for the rest of his life. So he's two. And if he lives to be a hundred, you so much work. And remember, the second cochlea is not yet done. But so far, he tolerates it at two, which means my volume is a little higher, so he'll hear a little better. Right, so this is my king right here. Oh my God, he was sleeping on the floor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, baby, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Let mommy take it off. He's not supposed to sleep in it. Yes, he's not supposed to ever sleep in his device. Right, so you turn it on. Oh my God, he fell asleep on the floor. And he had drooling. Oh my God, my baby was drooling. So thank you guys for everything. We love you and we appreciate this. As, as I said, I like to keep you informed so you know everything that's happening. And remember, we have speech therapists. We have 10 more appointments. So, so far, we have completed close to 130 appointments. So, as I said, GoFundMe helps with all those traveling because it takes money. And separate from those eight for the year, we still have neuron pulmonologists this year. And the speech therapists will be added. And speech therapy is going to be every single day. So trust me. Thank you so much for your go for me. Thank you so much for supporting our um, cash app. We appreciate it. And trust me, the work is not done. We still have the eyes to work on. We have probably a couple more surgeries for the eyes. We still have the one ear to work on. We have sleep the sleep test next week we have his pulmonologist neurologist so we are looking at about more than another 20 appointments even though we have completed over 100 appointments already so trust me the journey is not done and all this goes through a uber except for miami where we get right to miami because we couldn't afford to pay for uber from fort lauderdale to miami but here that's how we move around so thank you for every person that supported. I hope you find this video useful. Please support our YouTube channel. Aiden Irvin is Untold Story and is um, um, Instagram channel, which is Aiden underscore Irving. Everybody knows Facebook account. So we love you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Please subscribe so we can start making some money. <laughs> I joke. I'm missing it here. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe, though, because I mean, every help counts, you know. Thank you so much. We love you. Little man is out and his device is out waiting for him to get up. Mwah. Love you.